pussy nigga Oh nine and next to see nigga Fuck with me dog Pull up on the scene of some luxury dog That's me and my Kobe yeah 24 and my clothes is real Iceberg fuck the diamond yeah And that lake shit like Xavier It's that Juan Carlos and Javier Roll coat trade off the boat I'm a fly nigga took a wing off Married to the game took my ring off That's me we can have a bling off Throw the auto tune on have a sing off If the pussy ain't mine and I speed off Cause I don't even fuck with hoes rather beat off No lotion tips got the potion Fuck the commotion I'm out in the ocean A nigga in motion all this devotion Got a nigga up in his bitch like he floating Go grill shining Check out my limb on roll with the It's Monday, so that means three things. One, I'm not your MCM. Two, it's a Mamba Monday. And three, it's time for the 24 podcast. How you guys doing? I am your host, the product of Poverty's Environment, the Pope Chuck Paul. Whew. What a weekend it was. What a weekend, what a week it was. But before we get started, I must say RIP to the talk show legend, Larry King, most notably for his talk show on CNN, Larry King Live, Whew. legend. Anyone in the interview, talking business, someone like Larry King is someone that you should aspire to be. Also, rest in peace to hammering Hank Aaron, the one time home run, sheesh, the all time home run leader after his um, record was beat by Barry Bonds questionable man look this dude when you talk about the civil rights and what people go through now imagine what he went through like now it's text messages and in post talking about you he was getting hate mail and he kept all of them through all those years so rest in peace to Hank Aaron also and we gonna stay on sports because whew, what a weekend it was we seen the battle of the 12s TB12 and AR12, Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers go against each other. And we've seen the young guns, Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes, excuse me, go at each other. As expected, the Kansas City Chiefs ran all over the motherfucking Buffalo Bills, Tariq Hill, Travis Kelsey. Patrick, like, I'm, this dude is doing no-look shovel passes. It's like, yo, it's not even fair, man. It's not even fair. The Green Bay-Tampa Bay game was close as fuck. But at the end of the day, Psycho Tom found a way to do it. Look, y'all can hate him if you want. Y'all can say fuck 12, whether it be Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady. But, yo, this dude, you got to give him his props, man. 21 seasons, 10 Super Bowls, 6 championships, he's going for 7. This is what we, we've all been waiting for this whole season though. We wanted to see Patrick Mahomes, the young GOAT, go against Tom Brady, the old GOAT. So this is, this is, going, to be a, this is going to be a good one. The biggest question was can he do it without Belichick, but when you think about it, he brought in Gronk, placed AB in midseason. He he managed to get them in the playoffs at least. Cause that's all that matters in the NFL. Get to the playoffs. After that, it's like the regular season, one game at a time, one game at a time. Because Tampa Bay record wasn't even all that great this year. It was good, but it wasn't like everyone else who was in the championships who were like 13 and three. 14 and 2, you know. I believe they were like 9 and 6 or something like that, or 10 and 6. Some shit like that, but. And also, do we still put Aaron Rodgers in the go category? He last won a Super Bowl and been to Super Bowl in 2010, I believe, 2011. 1 and 4, I believe, in. Conference championships? I don't know, man. He might be a bad man to some people, but 
He's really bad in them. Conference championship games, one and four. That, that's not a good record. I'm just saying. That ain't a good look. But Super Bowl will be on Sunday, February 7th, 6.30 on CBS. Whew. Honestly, can't wait. I can't front, you know what I'm saying? I did my whole boycott for a good two, three years straight. And then once I realized they're not going to give Cap a job, and once I also realized that a lot of these football players are black, I have to support them. But also, if you do plan on boycotting and you are an NFL fan, you don't have to watch the games. Just click if if you want to just check the scores and whatnot. Go on ESPN, check the scores. This way, you're still in the know. You're not directly supported. I know how some people feel about this, and there's a lot of casual fans who don't even watch football who say they're boycotting. Look, we weren't watching in the first place, so you're not really boycotting. But that's neither here or there. But it's gonna be a good one. Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the Kansas City Chiefs. The O-head versus the young gun. Who's gonna win? All I know is this, the Chiefs gonna put, they're gonna put points on the board. I hope AB is playing. I hope he is. Cause you gotta think about it. You got the young upstart wide receiver, the cheetah, Tariq Hill. You have one of the best tight ends in Travis Kelsey. And on the other end on Tampa Bay, you got the agent, Rob Gronkowski at tight end. And you got Showtime. You got Antonio Brown on that side. So on the offensive end, we're going to see the old versus new. It's going to be a good one. And also, Kyrie Irving is back. He came back last week to play against his former team, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Whew. That was an interesting one. That was the first time I got to see 7-Eleven. Number 7, Kevin Durant. Number 11, Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. With James Harden on the floor at the same time. And it looks like James Harden is, I'm not going to say struggling to, 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 to get his feel in. But it looks like he wants to run the point and be more of a facilitator instead of being the 30-point, 40-point bucket getter. Because he got his Kyrie and KD for that. And he's starting to like... And get into his office in the second half. But long story short, Colin Sexton, the point guard who took Kyrie's place, who's wearing Kyrie's old number, dropped 42 on his head in a double overtime. And the next day, a back-to-back, -back, the Nets had to play the Cavs again. KD didn't play, though. Oh, and they still lost. Oh, my God. Look. What people don't notice, their defense is trash, and they're pretty much coached by a Dan Tony system. Dan Tony, the assistant coach, but remember, Steve Nash is in that Dan Tony tree. Amari Stoudemire, that Dan Tony tree. So they're probably just practicing, running offensive plays, and no defensive schemes, and probably just gonna rely on their offense. Yeah, they could put up 130 on the board too, but they're allowing their opponents to put up 130 plus also. Man, 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 it's, it's going to be an interesting season because the Celtics have Jason Tatum out and they been losing a few games. Kemba's back, but he's coming off an injury. You know, so you still have Boston. You still have Philly and B getting 30 and 15 games. You still have Milwaukee, who lost to my Lakers recently. Miami's still iffy. So we have the Nets, Philly, Boston, Miami. And who am I forgetting in the East? 
Philly, Boston, Milwaukee, Brooklyn. I guess those top four. Yeah, we could say those in the in the East. In the West, it's still the Lakers. It's still the Clippers. I still have Golden State probably sneaking in the eighth seed. I'm sorry. Utah is balling after Shaq challenged Donovan Mitchell. Ooh, that was brutal on TV. But we'll see what happens. I say if Gil, Go, Rudy Gobert can at least give you 20 points, they're good to go. He can give you 20 rebounds and five blocks. Easy. So we'll see. We'll see. And of course, if you didn't know, Joe Biden is the new president. Kamala Harris is the first woman of color as vice president. I'm not going to say black because some of you people are weird. Y'all don't want to acknowledge her blackness. It's all good. I was one of those ignorant folks also who was saying, hey, she's not black. This before, but what is that? Like her mother Jamaican or some shit like that? But mom Jamaican, motherfucker, she's black. You know what I'm saying? Remember, these same white folks gave that one drop rule. Let her live, man. This is, this is an historical moment. And while Biden, as soon as he got in office, he made a record 17 executive orders reversing damn near everything that Trump did his last term. But I'm going to tell you this. That inauguration was a little too fancy for a motherfucker that owes me $2,000. I want my stimulus check, Joe. I want my shit. And even so, on his way in, and when Trump was on his way out, he pardoned 143 people. I'm not gonna list all of them, but the three brothers, most notably that I know, not my brothers, maybe y'all brothers, but Lil Wayne, Kodak Black, and the hip hop mayor, Kwame Kilpatrick, hmm. That's an interesting motherfucker right there. The former mayor of Detroit was serving 30 years, I believe, on racketeering, obstruction of justice, assault of a police officer, um, perjury. If y'all want to read somebody's Wikipedia and be like, God damn, that shit straight out of a comic book with this motherfucker. But he got pardoned as well. Hopefully he could do some good, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Kwame Kilpatrick, Lil Wayne, Kodak Black. I'm not gonna lie to you, don't judge me. I could see Lil Wayne and Kodak Black getting caught up in some bullshit because they got nothing but, like, nothing but yes men around them, especially Kodak Black. And you're gonna have folks trying to bait him into some bullshit. Mm, a little bit of my grandma Ye left. Mm. Man. And of course, you see me with my OG Kobe shirt. It's XL. This is the t-shirt that was immediately available after he scored 81 points on the Toronto Raptors on, June, on January 21st, 22nd, I believe. Hey, don't judge me, man. I've been drinking a lot this morning. And tomorrow, a lot of us will be mourning the one year anniversary of Kobe Bean Bryant. Of course, if you know, the podcast, A24 podcast, is owed to Kobe. So no matter what the subject or topic is that I have on this show, no matter what, you're gonna think of the number eight, number 24, Kobe Bean Bryant. And a lot of people, it's still hard to grasp. And what I always tell people about that whole situation surrounding his death, it, the day before, LeBron passed him in scoring, and he spoke in his last tweet was to LeBron congratulating him, like, like passing that Laker torch. And then the next morning you wake up and the dude is dead. That's one thing that's crazy, man. You know? And the fact that he, he wasn't alive to see this Laker championship. Or he won't be able to see his daughter 
take over the WNBA like she wanted to. That's something else as well, man. Well, yeah. Comment below, whether it be on YouTube or Instagram when you watch this. And leave your, your favorite Kobe moments. Because I was definitely in the crib watching this on my, on my couch, screaming, oh shit, oh shit. Every bucket he made. Inside. Mid-range. Three-point. And ones. The nigga could have scored 100 points if, if, if Phil would have left him in. I'll tell you that much. You know what I'm saying? But before I let go... Man, you know what? Too much grandma yet. I'm thinking in my head, the show for life. That's right. For life is back this week, Wednesday. Make sure you check that out. I'm definitely gonna watch it and give you my uh, my ratchet review because my reviews be all over the place. Because I start off at the beginning, I end up in the end, and I go back to the middle, and I go somewhere back to the beginning. You know, but yeah. Definitely check out check out uh, definitely check out for life. It'll be back on this Wednesday. It's been a real calm week. You know, a lot of people are still going through the motions. You know about the whole capital invasion. Some folks are getting locked up. Some folks are, are getting let getting let go. Look, that's just that white privilege. What you're gonna do, right? But like I always say, like, share, subscribe, and comment. This was an abbreviated. 824 podcast. I'm your host, the Pope Chuck Paul. Peace out. And remember, every Monday is a Mamba Monday. Peace.